we live in a world with uh, countless opportunities and resources. One of these resources is education. I'll start off by saying I had a great education, and I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for my amazing teachers. Before I start, I'd like to ask you a question. What do you think is supposed to be the end product of education? Along with a few friends of mine, I started my own business when I was 16. From a large school, I moved to a smaller school with less options. And it was here I saw a flaw in the educational system. It wasn't for me, it didn't fit my needs, and I couldn't run my business alongside going to school. So from a more modern, uh, traditional style of school, I went to a web-based, uh, modern style of studying. And I find myself uh, learning more. I save precious time, and it's a lot more cost-effective. Okay, so uh, I believe the educational system today is old-fashioned and rigid. How long has the same model been around, and how long have the same traditional subjects been taught over and over again at school? <coughs> Secondly, and this is a point most of you must have thought more than once, it's too often that things you learn at school are relevant to the rest of your life. For example, the Pythagoras theorem. How many of you use that on a day-to-day -day basis? No one? So education is supposed to get you ready for society, and how is that possible if society is changing so quickly that we don't know what next week's economy will look like? We don't know what jobs there will be in 50 years' time, and 10 years ago there was no such thing as an app developer. I would also argue that education tends to produce failures. Some people can do everything. They're good at math, science, history, sports, and they're probably really good looking too. But most of us mere mortals have an Achilles heel. Kids are forced to do subjects they, they, uh, they're not that good at. Or they, they, they play basketball at a gym, or study simultaneous equations in the classroom. Kids who are forced to do these subjects they hate, never we fail. Not only that, they experience the pain of failure at a very young age. So we see kids drop out of school, or if they don't and stay, they switch off and fail subjects anyway. So what a waste of time and effort. The system today tends to push kids through a tunnel, and at the end of the tunnel, there's one path, a college education. And that's not necessarily for everyone. So personally, I decided to leave formal education, and my teachers were surprisingly supportive. I mean, it kind of seemed like they actually wanted me to leave. <laughs> Actually, they saw the potential I, said I had outside of school, and to them, I wasn't giving up. I was rather taking a more appropriate path, and a harder one. So what can, what can we do about this? What we need to do is make education more responsive to everyone's specific needs. Finland is famous for its education system. 93% graduate from high school, and that's 17, uh, sorry, yeah, 17% higher than the states. 66% attend college, and that's the highest in Europe. Although they have such a good education system, they still see need for change, and they're going through one of the world's largest educational reforms. What they're going to do is change subjects with topics. More about that in a minute. Helsinki's education development manager feels like this is important for the society and economy. Finland's reform is to maximize personal happiness and make it a more opportunistic world. And this is exactly what I'm doing. I go to a school now where I can pick my topics, not my subjects. My topics relate to the business I'm working on. Instead of, instead of maths, I'm taking business math. And when I was preparing for tonight, my high school teacher recommended I take a look at Sir Ken Robinson. And he has a point that intelligence is diverse. Okay, so my sister knows a lot more about music than I do. Well, she is learning to be an opera singer. Well, on the other hand, I know more about, well, everything else. <laughs> intelligence is diverse, and diversity is great for society. And this is exactly why Finland is reforming their education. Making education more diverse will lead to a more opportunistic world, an equal world for everyone. And it's just simply commercially and, and for business-wise the right thing to do. 
So, okay, back to my question. What is the end product of education? What is it for? Education is for cultivating a civilized person. Tonight's theme is broadening your horizons. I believe too many people at school are faced with very narrow horizons, and I want them to know that they can determine their own path to unknown horizons, and customizing education is the right step in the right direction. To finish off my speech, I'd like to read a quote from an artist. So this artist is called Zinaida Serebiakova. Childhood is not a race to see how quickly a child can read, write, or count. It's a, it's a small window of time to learn and develop at the pace that is right for each individual child. Earlier is not better. Thank you. I'm 18 years old. <laughs>